Hi and welcome everybody. My name is Chris from Teacher and Student and in this video I will show you five amazing tips to find any email in your Gmail account guaranteed. My personal favorite comes at the end so stay tuned. Tip number one, search in all folders at the same time. When you normally type your search terms in the search bar, Gmail only looks for emails in your main folder from your left-hand menu. That's usually your inbox folder. But, and that's the problem, the search would entirely skip folders like your spam folder or trash folder or subfolders you might have created in here. I'll show you what I mean. When I type the search term, let's say Adidas, and click enter, only one email comes up in my search results. And you can see here, it was found in my inbox because it only searched my major folders, which is usually the inbox. However, when I place the magic words in a colon anywhere before my search term Adidas and click enter again, two additional emails come up. One was found in the trash folder and the other one in my spam folder because this search operator in colon anywhere 100% ensures that all emails in all folders that you have in your left hand navigation are being searched and nothing is left out. Very handy. Tip number two, search for exact keywords and phrases. You probably know the situation. When we're searching for a particular email, we often remember a particular sentence or even just a small part of a sentence from that email. Let's say I remember an email that definitely contained the partial phrase, something, something, great time. Now, if I put in the search bar, great time, and click enter, Gmail searches all emails that contain both of these words anywhere in the email. As you can see, I can find four emails because all of these emails have the words great and time somewhere in them. But if I now put quotation marks around the two words, Gmail only searches for emails with exactly that phrase where those words show up in exactly that particular sequence. So when I click enter now, you can see my search only returns one email because this is the only email with exactly the sequence of words that I'm looking for. Great time. Tip number three, define email times. The quickest way to define a time period you want emails to be searched is to simply type after colon and then provide the date from when you want to have emails displaying using the date format that I am using here as an example and click enter. This now shows all emails after the specific date that I have provided. You can also do the exact opposite and say before colon and again provide a date. When we click enter now, it only displays emails up until this date. If you like, you can even combine both date restrictions and say, I want to search for emails before and after a certain date. So we just leave this date, but also say after colon. When we now click enter, this searches emails between those dates. And of course, don't forget, you can always add your search terms after the date to find your particular email. Tip number four is as simple as it gets, but super powerful. We search emails by sender. Many times we do know the name of the sender of the email we are looking for. So all we have to do is type from colon and then provide the name of the sender. The great thing is it does not have to be the entire email address. It can just be a fraction of the email address, like a person's name or even a company name. So we could, for example, say Google. This now obviously searches all emails where the sender's email address has the name Google in it. What we can also do here is say, we know that a particular person has been CC'd in the email we are looking for. So we say CC colon, and let's say Chris. And when we click enter, it searches for all emails, Chris has been CC'd. And of course, as always, you can simply add your particular search terms now after the search operator. Tip number five is my personal favorite. 
finding emails through their attachments like photos or spreadsheet. If you know that the email you're looking for has an attachment, you can simply type has colon attachment. When we click enter now, this searches only the emails with attachments, all type of attachments as you can see here. It's a PDF or a video or a photo. What's even better now is if you know the type of attachment, you can then say file name colon and let's say PDF because we want to find this particular email. So we just say PDF and it only searches for emails with PDF attachment as you can see here. We can change of course the file name ending from PDF to let's say JPEG and it finds the email with a JPEG attachment. This is a super powerful search tool in my opinion. Finally, I have a special tip for you. Combining everything that we have just learned in one search request. Wow. We can use all these search operators that I just taught you in combination to make a hundred percent sure we find even the most hidden emails. So you should always start anyway with say in colon anywhere. Then we define a date range with before colon and after colon. And we say it has to be from a sender with the name Chris in it. We also say the email has an attachment. So has colon attachment. And now we can even provide a specific search term using quotation marks. And that is how you can combine all search operators in one single query. If you don't find your email that way, I am telling you the email does not exist in your Gmail account. Just one thing for people who don't like the whole search operator typing, some of the filters can be found in the drop down next to your search bar. However, with search operators, you have so much more options. There are a lot more operators out there. If you like, I am very happy to make a second video about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Take care you all and see you soon.